What's up guys, Swirlex we're back here and today we're gonna be playing some Overload Shaman. I know recently, relatively recently, like two or three weeks ago, I played Quest Shaman, but today we're actually gonna be playing Overload Shaman, which is the alternate version and I saw that this deck Tempo Sword says is tier one and I'm really excited to see how that is. It does play the quest, which is really, really interesting to me. Because I generally did not think this quest was actually playable anymore. So I'm really excited to see exactly how this goes. Um, but yeah, I generally don't know if this deck can just get lethal. Like, I'm starting to think, like, I don't know how this deck actually kills. So I'm really excited to see how this deck kills. So with that being said, how about we queue up the first game and then let's hopefully get some dubs, alright guys? So that, with that being said, I'll see y'all there. Alright, first match up against Mage, which is another, um, uh, what the fuck are they called? It's another combo deck is my guess. Uh, that's actually one of the best starts is this into this. Um, all right, this is gonna be very interesting. Okay, my guess is it's the most likely combo, which means we probably can't win. Uh, so the reason I say we can't necessarily win against combo mage is for the small fact that the whole premise behind his deck Right, is he'll set up an ice block and then he just won't die. But our deck kind of wants to do the opposite. Oh no, it's Mech Mage, okay. This matchup is still really hard to fucking win, but it's definitely winnable. I didn't realize I put them onto the battlefield, but that's fine. I'm most likely to be playing Flame next turn anyways. So that's why I was really fine doing this play. Like right now, flame kills all this. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Oh no, I can zap that. Okay. Well. Fuck, I'm gonna be overloaded for all my, uh, no, I can play it this way. Beautiful. Oh, I really like Beaker here. Yeah, I think Beaker's really good. These all die to this, right? Correct. That's a beautiful thing. Oh, it gets the other one too. That's so good. Actually, so good. And we refresh so many mana crystals by doing that. Oh my god, it's so filthy. Okay, there's our Beaker. Now with Spirit of the Far, we can cycle through a large portion of our deck next turn, so that's why, I, I, that's another reason why I want the Beaker. Sure, the Lightning Bloom allows us to potentially cycle through more, but at this one, I don't know if I necessarily need to cycle through that many more cards. Um, yeah. Okay. This is whenever you cast a spell, right? So let's start with the coin. Beautiful. Let's do that. Let's do that. If I play this, I'm overloaded for the rest of my mana next turn. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna do this. I need mana next turn. Okay. This is fine. Copium. Uh, next turn, what is it? It's Ancestral Knowledge. It's mostly going to be Ancestral Knowledge, Perpetual Flame. And then nothing. Okay, so it's not Ancestral Knowledge, Perpetual Flame. It is Ancestral Knowledge, but I don't know what else. I can only play one card, right? Uh, interesting. 
Is that deck? Set this. Okay, that's fine. That's a really good one. I'm at seven mana next turn. My nature spells cost one less if I slam this. I feel like I have to kill that. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh! Oh! That's a good fucking draw, eh? There's so many good draws in my deck, which is why I feel fine doing this. Lightning Bloom is good. Um... Actually, Lightning Bloom, I wouldn't exactly play here, but still fairly good card. If I draw Lightning Bloom, I'm mostly just slamming Lightning Bloom. These are nature spells, right? Yeah. So with this, this, this costs one, this costs one. They get double cast. It's so good. I don't have a zero cost card is the problem. I don't have draw, but it's bloom here, 100%. Let's just do this into this. He's gonna kill both of my frogs, but that's fine. I think I should have enough mana here where it doesn't actually matter if he does. Like I have so much card draw. I have so much card draw, so much damage next turn. I think I'm fine. The other thing is, like, even if he has a dirty rat, it's only a 50-50. He has to technically hear hit hit. So, I think I'm fine. I can even potentially wait an additional turn before going off. Although I do know uh, Overdraft is in the bottom two cards of my deck, which means I typically, I'll have to draw it playing a zero cost card. If he doesn't kill both of these, I guarantee drops the last two one cost spells in my deck are both light are lightning bolt and over overdraw. Uh, yeah, overdraft. Sorry, my bad. That's fine. Is he going face? He's mad dead. He is mad dead let's do this make everything cost less okay <laughs> uh oh okay that is silly <laughs> That is silly, but so fucking cool. I love this deck, man. This deck is so cool. I love fucking around with the quest. I genuinely think it's some of the coolest cards to play. To. Again, that's my opinion. I really like the style of deck where it's kind of like combo and whatnot. And yeah, we did figure out the deck wins. Turns out if your opponent just lets Spirit of the Frog, Frog live, he's making a mistake. But it worked out. <laughs> Anyways, um, with that being said, let's, um, let's keep the next one. All right, guys, I'll see y'all there. All right. Um, another mage. Yeah, I, I think for against mages, we're hard mulling. Well, not for that one, but for perpetual flame, that card is just really nuts. Uh, sorry, I'm removing my socks. Um, it's hard to do while sitting down, kind of, in the position I am sitting. Those can go in the corner over there. Uh, see, this matchup, I don't think we can win nearly as easily as the last one we played. Okay. I'm hoping to draw an ancestral call here, or ancestral knowledge. Yeah, he's just a slump quest, and I never beat quests, so. Okay. 
Uh, okay, okay. The totem's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nah. If you cast a spell while holding this draw card, okay. Understandable. I'm gonna cycle this to draw a card. That one's really fucking bad. Alright. Again, we're looking for Ancestral. We're looking for... I guess just Ancestral. Oh my god, give me more cards, baby. The more cards you give me, the happier I'll be as a person. So, please do that more. Oh, and there's the Ancestral. Okay. So, I'll play this first. Rog is real nice. Ancestral is another just good one, if we're being honest. Uh, that was actually the worst buff on my board. Buffing the one, the O2s is the best case scenario. Because the one twos just don't do shit, if we're being honest. Um. Okay, how do, I can't win through Ice Block, right? Like, that's the problem here, is Ice Block just says he wins the game. I don't know, maybe. We'll have to find a way, potentially, to get through ice block. I wanna wait and do this, but I don't think that's correct. We should have enough damage just with these to be fine here. Um Yeah, just with this with a certain amount of burn spells, we should just have enough damage. Are we dead? That's ice block. So he has like a million ice blocks. No, he doesn't. Okay, so he can't just off us. Very important. cost I have to burn a card here that hurts I don't want to burn a card I'd rather have higher odds of burning the perpetual flame if I'm being honest perpetual flame is like a really really bad card here but the problem is I can't win this game is his and it's been his for like four turns now Oh my, okay, that's how you win. Easy game, easy clap. I, I have never played a game easier than this one in my life. Oh, I'm so glad. I have a fucking smile on my face right now from ear to ear, man. Oh, I love seeing that. I love seeing that. Does that make me a bad person? Possibly, but it makes me feel so fucking good. To be fair, I felt like we were playing that really fucking well, and then he just popped off for one turn and completed most of his quests, and then he fucked up, so... GG easy, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um... Alright, I guess we just hit the next one. Alright. Uh, next is Rogue. My favorite card against Rogue. Actually, in general, I think Perpetual Flame is one of those cards that is a little bit underrated, um, but I wouldn't want to change it either. I feel like it's just the right level of this card is fucking broken, 
and I, I like it. Personally, I like it. I can understand why some people are like, yo, that card needs a fucking nerf. I mean, it's already been nerfed, right? It used to be one mana. Right, Perpetual Flame was nerfed. I'm not tripping, right? Perpetual Flame Hearthstone. So there's a very easy way to check. I think it used to be one, right? Yeah. I don't know whose idea was like, oh yeah, that's a fair card at one, but whoever you were at Blizzard, thank you. But also, fuck you. Because I've lost the card at one, but I loved playing the card at one. So, respect. You have my respect for doing it. It was a ballsy move. You took the risk. In my opinion, it paid off, but it sadly had to get nerfed. Because we're not allowed to have nice things in this world. Oh, both perpetual flames against a rogue. I hope he doesn't like ever having a board. I was hoping to hit taunt. Hitting taunt totem is by far the best in this matchup. Is I mean, if he has to waste four damage on a taunt totem, I'm happy. Also, by the way, I hope you guys all have a beverage. Currently sipping me a Dr. Pepper. Because, you know, we chilling. We, we vibing like that. And fuck is it good. <laughs> um, anything that deals damage, basically, my deck makes me happy here. That's not one of those cards, so I have to throw this away, which sucks. See, this is, I honestly, I can see this card getting dropped by plus one attack and making it... I can see this card becoming a 3-3 three, three weapon. So I think in a 4-3 weapon, it's slightly too good. But hey. At least that's my opinion. I also hate rogues, so I'm I'll admit it, I'm biased. I'm hella fucking biased when it comes to uh swordfish and rogue just in general. I would give a lot to see that cart that class just disappear. Uh not in not in an uh, exaggeration, by the way. I would pay a lot of money to just have someone click delete on the rogue class. What's countering a spell? We know that for a fact. Hmm. Beaker is really nice. Well, I might get punished for this, but I have to do it in this order. Never punished. Actually never punished. To be fair, I do have to hit the nuts here. Basically any spell in my deck besides Serpentine Portal to be in a good position. But, hey, I mean, there's no guarantees at that. Your second Swordfish. At least I just used one of the charges of the swordfish on a 3-3. Which is really good for me, but I'm still in such a fucked position that I don't think I can win. Okay. Oh, it's, not, it's not a good card either. This is another one of those cards I just didn't want to see. I'll take it because I drew it, but I'm not happy about it, you know? I would have been much happier with a 1 or a 0 mana card. Like, Voltaic, this was the best card in my deck. It would have drawn me the Crackle, and I would have been able to play it killing both of those. Uh, actually, no. Beaker of Lightning was the best card. Because I could have played Beaker of Lightning and to deal 1 damage to this into being super far ahead. But, as it stands right now, I'm in a really, really shit spot, and I don't like it. Ugh... <sighs> What are draws that I can get to survive? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think 11 here. I'm at 7. Can I even win from 7 HP? Maybe. I mean, I don't think I'm in a good position necessarily, but I think I could potentially still come back. Depending on what I draw, I can come back. If I draw a 0 amount of card, I could definitely come back. One mana card, it's a little bit harder, but it can still come back. Just because my two mana card that's left in my deck is Ancestral. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, 
That was arguably the worst card in my deck. I can't even play this right away. Oh, I've just lost the game. It's basically over. I hit a 1-1. One, one. Understandable. I should have played this. Whoops. <laughs> if I would have played this, I would have had a little bit more mana. I could have also slammed this, but... Yeah, even with the bloom... No, I guess I could draw bloom into draft. Which gives me an out. That was the only hit he could not have hit. Shut the fuck up. You had Leith on board. Go suck a dick. You're playing the easiest deck to play in the fucking game. You drew both Swordfishes in the top eight cards of your deck. Actually, go suck a dick. Uh, I don't have any patience for Pirate Rogue players that try to, like, BM. Because they're all just terrible at the game, and they only hit Legend because they're out to play a Mongoloid deck that requires negative brain power. And I g still genuinely think that the rogue deck um the current rogue deck is way more broken than switcheroo priest or original pillager i even think it's probably better than original demon hunter if i'm being honest like i'm talking about pre nerfs i'm talking five mana skull of guldan i'm talking about one mana second or was it yeah one mana twin slice I'm talking about prior to all the nerfs. The 2 1 of the co of the um, outcast draw card. Like all of those, I genuinely think that the rogue deck is more bullshit, more oppressive, and more boring to play against than all of those put together. Pale Thos, Druid, uh, Druid Summer, where the only real playable deck in Wild or in Hearthstone in general was Druids with ultimate infestation and five mana spreading plague and things like that i genuinely think that the current rogue meta is worse it's just not fun to play you queue into a rogue half your games and you're just bored out of your mind but hey anyways let's queue up a game hopefully it's not against a rogue where we can actually play the game it's itself and not have to worry about oh am i just dead on turn four because yeah all right i'll queue up the next one Also, I'm sorry if you guys are just... If so, if some of you guys are rogue players that really like this meta, I... I guess I shouldn't be sorry for the way I feel about it, but... Um... Yeah, it's, it's really shit, if I'm being honest. I think this might be the worst meta I've ever seen in a card game. Overall. None of the metas currently in Hearthstone are good. Not this one, not Battlegrounds, not... Uh, to be fair, I haven't played Standard haven't really touched mercenaries that much or arena or duels but i can tell you from at least the games i've played i think this might be the most boring meta because again half your games are against the same fucking deck and it's just the deck does nothing unique the deck does nothing special it's just bleh again that might just be me i i assume that there's probably some other amount of people that think the same way i do about the meta um they're definitely not the aggro players and yeah the aggro players will love this meta i'll go out and say it if you're an aggro player you'll love the current meta um because you gotta just play a deck that's honestly not that hard has way overset in minions and spells and you'll just get away with winning because the deck is really fucking good and if that's the type of meta you like cool if that's not the type of meta you like. Not gonna lie, you're a little fucked. There's the, there are nicer ways to put it. Uh, is this the? I, I kind of want to stop this. Not gonna lie, I want to save this for later. Those were some really bad draws. That's fine. I'll just leave that up. 
Okay, so I have this trade now next turn. Ah, uh, he's gonna attack with it into... Um, he's gonna attack into the 2-2... Two, two, oh, the 0-2, oh, and then he's gonna attack with his hero power into the 2-1. Now he's gonna play a choose one card. Uh, interesting enough, I don't think that works with branching paths. Because branch path is a choose two cards, and a lot of those cards don't work the way you want it to work. Um, but yeah, it's it's actually really funny because I think it's the only card like that, um, where it's not a choose one; it's a choose two, and it doesn't get affected by any of them. Like I know it wasn't affected by Fandral, uh, so I don't think it's affected by this. Um, interesting. For those wondering, I do not agree with this play whatsoever, but what the fuck is this? At the end of your turn, store card from your deck, death rattle, add the story cards to your hand. That's really bad. I don't like that one bit. I mean, I guess it is a shitload of draw on a 3-3, three, three, but it could definitely be used to just burn me a whole bunch of cards. And also, if he silences it, I'm fucked. Um, interesting, though. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What's the worst card from to play for me? Uh, I beat Plague. I don't have to worry about that. I beat... I guess it's some amount of third armor gain. That was worth a poison seed to this guy. Interesting. I don't know if I agree with that, but... Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Retro Flame is not the greatest card. That's not bad, but I'm gonna take the Crackle instead. I wanted to play one card or something. Um. Yeah. I, I figured that was coming at some point. I was correct. This is a fire spell set. <sighs> That's really good. Fuck it. Is this gonna draw me a one cost card? It does. This isn't gonna draw me shit, I just want the card off of it. So I have six damn. Oh, I missed lethal. I could have played Crackle into Overdraft and I had lethal. Whoops. I was unaware of how much health he was at, if I'm being honest. Am I dead? Am I about to get line crackered? Oh no, he actually just has infinite mana though. Interesting. Ah. Okay. I mean, sure. I'll be honest, I was not expecting the Celestial alignment. But it's working out for him. Does that get rid of Overload or no? Interesting. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. I don't think I can win from the position I'm in, by the way. Um, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm gonna try my damnedest. If I prevent them from playing minions, 
I mean, I can't do it forever. Technically, if I prevent it from playing minions, I can win this game still. I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to do that without just dying. Freeze, freeze, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Still dead. I need a freeze, freeze, kill, which I can't do. Hmm. She actually has exaxes. Oh, it didn't matter. Oh. Yeah, no, I think I'm just dead here. I was so close. If I had a couple more mana, I was fine. I missed lethal, so that's my fault, if I'm being honest. Um, I deserve this loss. I straight up missed lethal. Um, yeah, there's no other way for me to put it. I, I deserve the loss. I'm not even mad. I'm, I misplayed. And I don't, there's no other way for me to say it. I had lethal. I missed it. I got punished. Good job to him for winning. Um, and I think I lost 60 elo for that loss. I was typically gaining 20, losing 20. I just lost 60. Okay. Two losses gained me, lost me so much fucking elo. That's insane. Okay, 300 honor applied Drek'thar. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I completely forgot that was a quest line that I had. Oh, and this is pretty dope. We have pack to open, which is pretty dope. As I said yesterday, we were going to have a pack to open. But yeah, you know, in that last game, if I would have actually probably done math and not been on autopilot i think i would have won because i would have not missed that lethal but i was actually unaware of how much damage i actually had but the better player there was still most likely just attempt to kill him and then just hope he can't kill me to be fair the way that he actually ended up having lethal and be able to stabilize was kind of insane if we're being honest it was really good and uh yeah gg to him um anyways though with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Um, yeah, I don't have much else to say besides have a great rest of your day. Comment down below decks you'd like to see, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.